embarrassing and unacceptable. That is what Greg Penner said was the final straw for Nathaniel Hackett on Sunday. They were thinking about doing this move, but they didn't know it was going to happen this week until Sunday's game when the product on the field was 51 to 14 and off the field, you had players doing some things that were unacceptable. Embarrassing and unacceptable is what Greg Penner said Sunday was. And we are here, Henry Chisholm, Zach Stevens, to break down the biggest takeaways from just talking to Greg Penner and George Payton after the Broncos fired Nathaniel Hackett yesterday. We're here with some takeaways that was the first one. Second takeaway here is what the Denver Broncos are looking for in their next head coach. Leadership and culture, that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for someone to fix Russell Wilson purely. They're looking for someone to fix the offense, defense, special teams. They are happy with where the defense is right now. They both said the offense did not have an identity this year and they specifically said the special teams needs help. So this is not just about Russell Wilson. They made that very clear. Although they do think that Russell Wilson can be fixed. They saw flashes of it this year and also this is about winning now not necessarily a rebuild henry what's the second takeaway greg penner's really taking control it is his time to shine the new head coach will report to him he's also picking out the new head coach this isn't george payton's decision this time around it is greg penner's decision uh like we said He's the one who pulled the trigger on Sunday. He saw stuff he didn't like, decided now is the time to do it. He said that there's a bunch of other changes that need to be made and they aren't going to wait for a new head coach to make them. They're evaluating everything. When he was saying that part, he actually said, I'm impatient. I'm impatient. He also said he doesn't think yeah. that this rebuild needs to take years. He thinks you can turn a team around quickly. There's no reason they can't win more games next year and potentially make a push to the playoffs. I don't know if I agree with him, but that's what he believes, and he seems to be going gung-ho into turning this team around. And like I mentioned at the top, George Payton was also here speaking today, and George Payton took 100% accountability for what has happened. He made it very clear that all of this, all of the issues are not just on Nathaniel Hackett, but it's on him. He hired Nathaniel Hackett. He brought in most of this roster. Greg Penner alluded to, to George Payton saying that there's some decisions that he regrets making in the offseason. Didn't say exactly what moves those were, but George Payton said to Greg Penner that he takes accountability for this. Greg Penner has said, we've had many honest conversations about how George has been very honest with me saying things that he's done wrong. George Payton is still around for now, but as Henry said, it does seem like he's lost some power. Those are the biggest takeaways you need to know after talking to George Payton and Greg Penner today.